Hey guys, I probably should. Um, I'm in the barn since we've been back from vacation. I have been working on cleaning this out. So really that's only been a day and a half. Um, but if you were here for the Southern Iowa Junk Jaunt, then you know that it is very empty compared to what it used to be. Um, the goal is by the end of the week, next week, to get it completely emptied out um, because I want to totally um, insulate it so that it can be heated and cooled and be completely a finished space. And so um, when I first did all of the walls, which I'll show you then, um, I basically just was winging it and I did it all by myself. And so um, now it's like I'm kicking myself because I wasted a whole bunch of time um, semi-finishing the walls and I should have um, put some house wrap. So now I'm going to dismantle everything that I did. Hi Elizabeth, hi Amber, hi Jeannie, hi Bunny, hi Brenda. You guys are from all over the place. Um, so now I'm kicking myself because I want to put the house wrap on it um, that I didn't do before and, and going to finish the ceilings off and insulate those. So basically I need to have the space emptied out so that I can do that. Um, luckily I had sold tons of stuff the last couple months at the store and I can take most of the items directly to the shop and I will just have the shop re replenished. Um, and then we, dad and I already built a workshop, a second workshop in the back of the barn. That's not totally um, finished off, but I mean, it's insulated and everything. It just doesn't have, um, oh, covering on all of the sections of the wall, which is not a big deal. That's something we can do easy. So I am now filling that new workshop with all of the stuff that I can't fit into the shop um, so that it is out of this main section. So let me turn the camera around and I'll tell you what I'm, or show you what I'm talking about. Hey, Kara. Oops, I about clicked finish. Okay, so this is the door outside, and then you can see, which I don't think when I have a lot of stuff in here, people even notice how I finished off the walls, but um, I just took doors and I cut them and you know angled them so that they would fit here on the wall and screwed those in. So each section is kind of different. And then I've got all of my signs from the junk jaunt are just piled up here. So those are gonna have to find a new home. Um, I think I have a spot for them in the workshop. And then I have two trailers, so I will be using both of my trailers um, to store like the furniture that I can't fit in the shop just to get this barn emptied out. But you can see I just spliced in a, bu a bunch of doors to finish off the wall. So behind the that space, it looks like the barn door. We had um, some friends give us some leftover spray foam. And so we used it um, before I finished off the walls. But you can see we didn't go very thick with it. I didn't do any house wrap because I didn't even know that I should do house wrap at the time. And um, so now I wanna go through and we're going to, I say we, but really I'm probably gonna be doing it myself. Um, this section I did barn uh, wood from my grandpa's barn. And I'm gonna take all of that off, put house wrap, put more insulation, actually the bat instead of um, doing some more spray. And, um, then putting these walls back up and then doing the ceiling. So we're gonna do insulation on the ceiling and this I am going to get help with. And then I'm gonna put corrugated tin um, up on the ceiling here. Hi Nidra, hi Julie. You like the door idea? Yeah. So basically you can see there's posts um, with the barn and in each section I did something different. So the front corner I have the doors and then this section I did barn wood. Thank you, Lisa. It's I have so many doors. It's just an easy way to use them. Thanks, Brenda. And so then this section, um, I was trying to use 
I'm going to have to unscrew all these shelves, obviously, but I was trying to use um, some like trim that my dad had salvaged over the years and boards that already had color on them, but I didn't have enough, so I kind of spliced in some other baseboard trim that was just stained. Um, and so this section, if I can find some more brightly colored boards, I might um, take out just the wood stained ones and replace them. So I might do something different in this section because I'm not totally in love with it. And then these boards um, in this section, this white chippy, back in the back corner of this barn used to be a horse stall. And these boards were from that horse stall. And so then I just found, dad used to tear down barns and homes and stuff. And so his barns are full of crap that he, he lets me use reluctantly. And I say that because he's always like, now I might use this someday. And he doesn't want to, um, let me use it because he might use it someday. Now we're talking about it's been in the barn for probably 40 or 50 years and he's never used it. So I, I tried to use that as a rationale to let me use um, some of his stuff. So then I just found some of his boards that were the same um, thickness because these boards are uh, probably a couple inches thick probably like a two by six, two by eight maybe. And then this board up here just happened to fit. And so I used that. This window actually was salvaged. Um, when we did an addition on our house, I bought this window. And then of course, when we finally got the addition done and we wanted more windows, there were no, the windows were not the same. They, you know, redid how much white trim was around it or whatever so they didn't match so this one was an oddball that we needed to we couldn't return it I didn't figure we were going to sell it so this whole space here used to be another sliding barn door so we put the window in just for some light are those wooden heads no Kara those are just styrofoam heads that I decoupaged with um, paper bags and I didn't even finish them. So they're just sitting there. One of those things that I started the project and never finished. Um, Lisa, I like working. I'm a weird person. I think I like my job. And so, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. So I like to work. And yes, he is a, he, he is a collector. He doesn't want to use anything. So then back here, I used to have a temporary wall that I built with a couple of um, huge pallets and just made them temporary. And now we have secured the wall with my dad's help, put in a couple of double doors um, because this section is going to be heated and cooled. So this is the new workshop area. And basically, like I said, we did get some paneling up here, but the rest of the walls are just insulation. We haven't um, fixed them. And I don't know if you've seen in my stories, but the two back doors here, this was another sliding barn door. Um, this was back where the horse stall used to be a long, long time ago when I was a little girl. Um, Dad and I put these doors on backwards, so one of these days, probably in the next couple months, <laughs> probably before winter will be our goal, we need to flip them around. We finally got them all leveled and, and plumb and flush and all that good stuff, and then uh, we realized, like, dang it, we put them on wrong. So back here, I have just stuff that is not going to the shop yet, that is getting stored, um you know, until I have room at the shop, but I try to stay pretty organized. Um, you know, right now I'm jamming it all back here because I need the big area cleaned off, but you know, I put my bottles together, my oil cans together. I try and put like items together on the shelves and I bought these shelves. They all have wheels on them. And that is a necessity because the first set of shelves I bought did not have wheels on them. And then, you know, if you follow me very long, you know that I open up the barn for barn sales during the junk jaunt. And so trying to take it from a storage barn and working barn to a, making it look like a store, um, you know, it's hard when 
you have a bunch of crap on your shelves and you can't move them. So wheels are definitely a necessity. Um, so I just put these all in here nice and tight so I could get as much stuff in here as possible. But this, the reason that I did this workshop here was so that I could have two workshops, one where I can sand and clean and get things dirty and strip and stuff. And then another area, which is going to be this side, which is going to be um, like my cleaning area so that my clean, not cleaning area, my clean area where I can do paint and polyurethane and things that I don't want dust on. So this is going to be my clean workshop. And then this was already here. These actually um, are French doors that we salvaged from our walkout basement. When we put on our addition, we lost our walkout basement well, we had to move it, um, the doors to a different location. And so we salvaged those doors and used them on my first workshop, which is um, heated and cooled. We just have little wall units. And this is a mess right now because I had the barn ready for the junk jaunt and I was just piling all the crap in here that I didn't get priced or didn't want to mess with and, you know, just leave it or whatever. And then I have some lights that I need to replace and it looks like a couple of them are flickering but I have the galvanized on the roof in both workshops and um, I'm going to use the galvanized in the other as well. If you do not have a power washer and you do anything kind of like what I do you need to buy one. It is the best um, purchase that I have ever made um, and this barn or barn this bed is sold so don't get crushing on it. And my son was supposed to take the trash out, and you can see that that has not happened. So that's going to be my dirty work area where I'm sanding and making dust and causing problems. And then I can come in here with the item and be painting because I'm very much for batch work where if I'm going to paint something or stain something or clean something, I want to do it all at once. So up here in the what we're going to call the attic area i just normally have that as storage i normally keep christmas stuff there um, i have since built some shelves or dad built some shelves for me at the shop and so i keep my christmas stuff at the shop now i do have an awesome dad um, lisa i do love my pole barn my morton building however when they built it a long time ago which I grew up across the road from the, where I am now. Um, they basically built it on the ground, so there is not very good drainage. We added the, the cement um, in, oh, I don't even know, six years ago maybe. Maybe it's been longer than that. Um, but it doesn't have the best drainage. How about that? So when I first... When we first did this workshop room, I did some book pages and then all these mirrors that I had that were just um, people wanted to give me because they weren't using anymore or ones I picked up at auctions and I just hung them. You can see that it's not sticky anymore on some of those papers. I've used some staples on some of them as well. I sold a ton of windows this past uh, junk jaunt and I still have a ton more. So if you are interested, you need to let me know. You can also see how awesome this table is because it's pretty empty in here. Um, and these legs slide in and out. They are not attached in any way. Um, if you wanted to make it a little more sturdy, which it is pretty sturdy, um, if you wanted to make it even sturdier, then you would just, I would say, screw them in. So I used some more trim baseboard here in this section. Then this section with the electrical box, I did another section of doors. Um, and then I hung some shelves because, again, this is just mainly my storage area, workshop area, the whole barn. Um, but I'll take all of that down. And then I was also going to talk to you about these walls. So I have the black um, plywood painted on one side and then they're just plain on the other. I actually ended up putting three, four of these in the shop as well. And then I did do stuff to the back of those. Just great for another wall space to hang stuff, to have a backdrop for your displays. I made these um, last April um, to take to Junk Jubilee as my backdrop, and I'm actually going to dismantle them so I can use the plywood and the two by fours 
um, when I'm finishing up this, the rest of this barn. Okay, any guesses on what these big boards are that are vertical? Brenda says, how often do you get items at auction? Brenda, I honestly have been going to fewer and fewer auctions because I'm really trying to downsize how much inventory I have. Um, so if I go to an auction, I'm, I'm there all day, so I'm tempted to buy, you know, a trailer full. And so if I don't go, then I can't buy in bulk as much. <laughs> how about that? So um, I don't go to many auctions anymore. I do mainly private sales where somebody just calls me and says, Brooke, somebody's died, we need money, we're moving, we're downsizing, whatever. So those have been more of my transactions. Now, these boards are one, I mean, you can tell by the stain, but this board, this board, those are probably about 24 inches wide, those um, wider ones. They're one board. They, floor planks was an idea, floor boards, a couple of you had those ideas. They're actually church pews. So I got a bunch of church pews and I can't remember if they didn't have ends. I don't remember actually why I did, decided to do this. Um, but I couldn't think of anything else to do besides maybe make signs out of them because they're such a big board, but they really weren't curved. They're pretty straight. And so I used them vertically here um, as my wall finish. This is like the curved part. Um, you know how at the top of the pew, a lot of times they have the rounded edge. So that I just kept it there and that's how, how they are. And then over here, I did more baseboards or, or um, could be even trim around a win window as well. So that's what I did in this section. And then in this section, we got some more barn wood. And then in this section, I didn't have enough green, but these were from my grandpa's barn as well. The green ones were for sure. I know I took them off of the barn and put them over here. Then in this little section, we've got some more trim. Up top, we've got trim and then barn wood. So the next big decision I have is what am I going to fill in the barn door um, hole with? I am going to put in some double doors and make it um, more like a store and less like a barn. Um, that way I can have better heating and cooling capabilities. Um, but I, I'm still not exactly sure what I want to do. This is another nice long table while it's pretty empty in here. It's taller. Um, it sits taller than like a dining room table though. So I don't know. You could cut the legs down if you wanted to use it as a dining room table or use it as something else. But that's what we've got going in, in the barn. Um, right now, the skylights are green, which I don't think you can see that on the camera. Um, but I'm going to replace those and make them clear um, as well. So, Brenda, you like flea markets? The, there's only really like a couple of flea markets around here that I go to. And I do try and go to them. Um, that's a, the downside of being in the middle of nowhere is that you don't have access to as many things unless you want to drive super, super far. What is the globe made out of? Where was the globe? This thing, the sphere? These are hay rake wheels. Um, I used to sell them to a dealer who I would see at all of the shows that I went to, um, and he actually would turn them into lights in big mansions, rich people homes, and um, now I just sell them to whoever because he isn't buying them off of me anymore. Um, and I would say most people put them in their yard for yard art. Um, how much for the long table? Which, which long table, Diane? I'm guessing you just joined, so I'm guessing this long table. This one is $250. And the, the boards on it are very large as well. So you can see that's probably... 
18 inch, 16 inches, 18 inches probably. This one, this one's a little bit smaller, so it's two boards. These would come off, um, I think, easily as well, as well too. Um, and then Diane, in the beginning, I shared another table if you want to check that one out too. So, um, da 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 da. I think that's all the questions. Oh, what about stock truck rails for your barn door spaces? That might be cool. I'd have to find some, Jane. Do you know where some, do you know where some are? Um, so yeah, so this is what I've been working on and um, I've got some exciting news to share with you, just not ready to share it yet. So stay tuned and remember if you wanna get notified when I go live, you just need to send the word live to the page, just message the junk parlor and say live and the, that will put you on the bot. And if you ever comment to me and tell me like I live in blah, 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 in a com not in a comment, in a message, just know that that's gonna activate the bot too and just ignore it. So, hi Olga. All right guys, thank you.